Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, Doha. Dear friends, I hope you all are doing good out there by the grace of Allah. Today, I'm at Old Palace. Yes, Old Palace, the residence of Sheikh Abdullah bin Jassim Al Thani. This historical landmark has a lot to tell the visitors. So, let's explore this amazing and iconic landmark. Doha, the vibrant capital of Qatar, is a city known for its modern skyline and rapid urban development. Yet nestled among its skyscrapers and futuristic architecture lies a historical gem, the Old Palace. This amazing and unique gem was constructed in 1880. This place stands as a reminder of this city's past, embodying the culture and traditions of bygone era. Built in the late 19th century, the old palace served as a royal residence and administrative centre. At the time, Qatar was a small but strategic world fishing nation on the Arabian Peninsula. The palace was commissioned by Sheikh Jassim bin Muhammad Al Thani, the founder of modern Qatar, as a symbol of power and governance. It played a key role in the political and social life of the region, reflecting the importance of leadership and tribal unity during a time when Qatar was establishing its identity. The old palace is a fine example of traditional Qatari architecture, blending functionality with aesthetics. The structure was built using locally sourced material, primarily limestone and mud bricks, which helped to insulate the building from the intense heat. Its design incorporates features typical of Arabian forms such as high walls, narrow windows, and a central courtyard. The courtyard, hallmark of Islamic architecture, served as a communal space for family gatherings and important ceremonies. The palace, distinct towers, once used for defense, still stand tall, giving visitors a glimpse of how the structure was not only a residence but also a fortress. The arches and wooden beams add to the palace a static appeal, showcasing the craftsmanship of the era. For decades, the old palace was at the heart of Qatar's political and social development. It hosted important meetings and diplomatic discussions, particularly during the transition of power and consolidation of Qatar's sovereignty. The palace also became a symbol of heritage, standing firm through the changes that swept across the Gulf region. Today, this beautiful gem has been preserved as a cultural landmark, but much of Doha has transformed with modern skyscrapers and cutting-edge infrastructure. The palace remains a tangible link to the past. It offers locals and visitors alike a chance to step back in time and experience the simpler yet profound lifestyle of Qatar's forefathers. Recognizing its historical importance, the old palace underwent careful restoration efforts in recent years. The goal was to preserve its original structure while making it accessible to the public. Today, it functions as a museum, offering 
insights into Qatar's history and evolution of its society. Visitors can explore various rooms, including the majlis, private chambers, and watchtowers, each telling a story of its own in a unique way. The surrounding area of the palace has been revitalized to complement it. its historical significance. Traditional markets and cultural events often take place nearby, adding to the immersive experience of visiting this heritage site. Really, I felt amazed. And this is first experience while exploring the Arab fort. In many respects, or I must say many ways, it's different and unique. So, guys, enjoy, and I try to capture as much as I could. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Qatar is really amazing, man. amazing, amazing. Man.